Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about alpha bromoketone. So you can see this molecule is alpha bromoketone. This position with respect to ketone is called alpha position and here bromine is attached. So that's why this is called alpha bromoketone and here the first step reaction is with this alkyl magnesium bromide or if I say more accurately it's a propyl magnesium bromide. So N propyl magnesium bromide and obviously in anhydrous ether type solvent or anhydrous THF solvent and second step is workup. So, you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. Four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. So, I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because self evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. If you look at little closely student, there is actually clear competition. Competition means this is carbonyl addition. So here carbonyl addition versus you can see nucleophilic substitution or SN2. Actually student, uh, if you try from both point of view, you will get the right answer, but based on my understanding, the right pathway is nucleophilic addition on carbonyl. Why? Because if you look at Grignard reagent, it's not that much very good nucleophile, but it has some nucleophile means that much like in substitution reaction, not that much. And second thing here, there is a magnesium atom, means alkyl magnesium bromide and this magnesium is in plus 2 oxidation state. So, it can act as Lewis acid. We have seen that Greek nitrogen magnesium 2 plus can act as Lewis acid. So, first step in the first step this magnesium will get attached to you can see magnesium 2 plus will get attached to this carbonyl. It will increase the electrophilicity. So, this carbonyl carbon became more electrophilic. Consequently, you can expect that these nucleophile will attack this carbonyl carbon via nucleophilic addition pathway. So, this is based on my understanding, it is more logical. So, you can see here first nucleophilic addition happens and in or closer to this O minus, this magnesium bromide will be there in order to neutralize or in order to maintain the charge balance. Fine. This thing we understand. In the next step, see if you look at the position of these two group, they are actually one two position. Means you may can call recall the halohydrin um, or chlorohydrin if you can consider this is OH and this is Cl. So this is called chlorohydrin. And if you treat this chlorohydrin with base like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide instantly it do uh, it first abstract this proton and produces O minus and these negative charge through intramolecular SN2 type reaction it attacks and this chlorine goes and it produces this epoxide. So actually this is a very good way to store epoxide or you can consider ethylene oxide because at room temperature ethylene oxide is gas but these halohydrin is liquid. So, recall just that chemistry and apply here. So, their relative position is 1, 2. So, it can attack and 3 member ring formation possible and in this way it will produce this epoxide. Fine. Now, in the next step what is given? Next step acid is given. So, acid means oxygen is a hard base. So, obviously this protonation is possible. So, after protonation you can expect that this ring opening will occur. But after, uh, it's true ring opening, but if you think more deeply, so oxygen is electronegative atom, fine. So it makes these both carbon delta plus, both attached carbon delta plus. Now when it get attached to it proton, it electron deficiency enhances further. Consequently, it will pull more electron density from these both two bonds. But here where the positive charge is more stable, based on that the pulling effect will be determined. So, what you can expect that this bond will open as the produced carbocation you can expect its secondary in nature. What do I mean? Let me draw it here. So, this is the cyclohexane ring, this is the OH and obviously this is a propyl chain and this is the positive charge and here the carbocation is tertiary. So, relatively more stable. 
we know the car tertiary carbonates are relatively more stable due to both plus i effect by these three bonds and hyperconjugations. Now, so you can think that okay, fine. Now, in the next step, what you can expect that in the next step, these oxygen can push and these hydride could migrate, migrate from here to here. So in this way, what it will produce? It will, so this side, the this side will be carbonyl and this side, hydro, one hydrogen in low, you can see this hydrogen. So in this way, this alpha alkyl ketone will be produced. Now, uh, there is an another state phenomenon that, okay, alpha halocarbonyls are very good for SN2 reaction. So you can expect that this nucleophile will attack here and it will leave ultimately you will get the same product also but whatever i have explained here that is more logical so i expect that you follow this pathway so in key steps if you explain the first step is addition reaction of grignard reagent to ketone or carbonyl group and second step is intramolecular sn2 for epoxide formation and third step is epoxide opening in presence of acid and by the way, I have already discussed many lectures on Grignard, SN2 and epoxide opening in acid base and neutral medium. For details understanding, you may visit the lectures. Now, in this case, what is the answer? Answer is, you can see option B. Now, if this question appears in your exam less than 30 seconds, how can you solve this question? See, first step is Grignard and second step is water. So, obviously, this option can't be there where the oxygen goes. Point number one. Second thing, another double bond, ketone is intact and double bond formation, not a logical option. It's gone. Now, there is a competition between option B versus option C. Now, it is true. It is true that uh, protonation possible, fine. But actually, student, epoxide formation is far more possible because intramolecular reactions are highly favored over intermolecular and three member ring formation is favored by this term please remember proper conformational orientation orientation actually this is uh, obtained for three member ring and five member ring but the disadvantage of the three member ring is angle strain angle strain or sometime it's called ring strain also so that's why epoxide in the next step undergoes opening and ultimately b is the product now so you can see this is one reference uh, and you may visit also professor dr chandun shahar's book where i've taken this problem so <clears throat> sorry so in conclusion what you have learned that Grignard reagent reacts to prefer nucleophilic addition than nucleophilic substitution I mean SN2 because magnesium acts as Lewis acid and activates the carbonyl group so nucleophilic addition is preferred. Alkoxide and bromide in 1-2 orientation may result in 3 member ring that is epoxide due to proper conformational orientation for intramolecular SN2 reaction and this epoxide undergoes ring opening in acidic medium which results in relatively more stable or tertiary carbocation which is the intermediate here and one uh, carbocation could be converted into another carbocation by alkyl aryl or hydride shift and here actually this hydride shift is more favored over, over other group because of electronic and static both reasons and in this case i suggest you student please recall the pinacol pinacol on rearrangement i've already discussed dedicated lecture on it so this is the end of discussion i really thank you everyone for watching and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye